Okay, so was there anything else you wanted to say about that? We're good with the snitching thing. No, I agree. I just don't approve of it. I mean, like I said, police officers are paid the big bucks. They got technology. They, they need to get out there and do their job. I mean, you know, the, the mayor uh, do, does the best that she can of supporting, you know, the police officers and giving them what they need. And I think that's how, you know, it should be. You know, like I said, I had a family member that was killed and police did their job and they got a conviction. You know, I know people that was wrongly convicted of, of, of stuff, you know, and put in situations where they lost things, they lost family members, they lost time from their family members because of uh, what somebody said. Uh, uh, and not like, <clears throat> not saying that it's true or untrue, but you just don't put a, uh, a somebody else's life in the hands of another uh, 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 criminal, or even a, a, even if it's just a regular citizen, you don't put that person's life in, that, in another person's hands who who don't have the experience or who don't know what they're talking about. Period. Okay. Now you mentioned your properties, you have homes and all that. What happened to your homes, your houses, your property? Well, I lost. I lost everything. I lost all my cars, trucks. I lost all my property um, due to the fact that I was in jail. Um, it's all gone. Man. You know, like you know, when you go back to the snitching thing. And if I had told on someone, I probably wouldn't have lost it because I would have never went to jail. So, you know, I think about it all the time, but it's just not in me to, to sit here and tell tell anybody or tell tell somebody about somebody something that I don't know or I don't have nothing to do with. You know, you know. So all that stuff is gone now, and I'm, you know, that's the main reason I'm probably here in Ohio because. I got a roof over my head. You know, I didn't have a roof over my head if I was to come home. And it would have been a little harder for me to go about, you know, getting my life back. So, you know, all that stuff is gone and I'm just starting over. Okay. So, you're out of prison. You're working. Um, how do you feel? Like about your new beginning. I'm happy to be home. I'm happy to be able to go and you know, move around a little bit that I can because you know, I can't do too much. I still got this bracing on my leg. But, I mean, jail is so much different. I mean, I know if you had to, you know, be in there for whatever reason the case may be, you know, you got to be there. But, it's a difference when you're out here. It's like, this is, I can't say this is life, but, you know, after doing those, that little time, to me, this is life. I mean, not, nothing's better than your freedom. You know, if you'd rather have, you'd rather be in jail with a million bucks or you'd rather be out here with a dollar in your pocket. i am make the decision. I'd rather be out here with a dollar in my pocket. You know, and like, there's so much, it has so many advantages, you know, for you to, uh, live life and um, you know like I said I feel good I'm happy you know and I've been home three months now and I still haven't seen any of my kids or family members personally I, I FaceTime them but I have yet to be able to you know see any of my family members you know the most upsetting thing about me going to jail is that you know I have I lost a relationship with my kids, you know, especially my two sons. I haven't, haven't heard from them, FaceTime them, talked to them. I don't even know how they're doing. Like, you know, I lost that relationship with them. I lost a grandmother. My grandmother passed away last year. Oh, sorry and to hear that. The most difficult thing about being out here is that, you know, on a daily basis, I think about how different things could have been if I never went to jail. But now that I'm out here, I just say, I just tell myself that I just have to move forward. I just got to do what I got to do to make this make this life better for myself and my kids and, you know, whoever. So how has this experience changed you? Well, maybe 
making better decisions. You know, decision making is everything. Um, and when I say making decisions, you know, you know, you got to be more careful about who you're around um, and, and the things that you do when you're around certain people. You know, I just think that, like I said, people who may know you or just know of you, it's easy for a person who, an informant, it's just easy for a person to implicate you in something that you had, like I said, had nothing to do with, don't know nothing about. Um, and like I said, you just got to know, know watch, watch your surroundings. Uh, you know, when I say watch your surroundings, you want to make sure you're around people that really uh, have some type of care for you because, you know, after this jail thing, you know, um, I don't really believe too much in friends. Uh, I, had, I had an incident in jail where uh, the guy, he kind of about my height, but he was a little bigger. He was about closer, closer to 300. Where we had an incident where, you know, he shadow boxing with me, and I told him I don't really like, I don't really like that. You know, I don't know how to shadow box. And, you know, one thing I told him, and I think I, I'm going to stand on it. I'm always going to stand on it. Like, I could be your homie, but that don't mean I got to be your friend. Because I can't consider everybody a friend. Because I'm not. I, I, if I, I can't. I can't trust you as far as I can throw you. So I don't consider you to be a friend. I was. I was like I said. I was hurt by. I was hurt by people that I really had care for. You know. Like I said, I didn't see. I haven't seen my son. And I felt that me and my son's mother. You know, we had a a good connection. But you know, after I went to jail, I see how the connect connection was not even a connection. So. I don't really like the word friends too much, you know? Do you feel betrayed? I definitely feel betrayed. I just did time in jail for nothing. <laughs> I just lost everything, you know, wife, nothing. I don't, I, there's no explanation. Like, maybe I, maybe it was, maybe it was my fault, like I said, because I trusted a person to help me and do things for me, and that person couldn't be trusted. And, you know, me going to jail, I felt like I was betrayed. I just think my name was, like I said, it was just implicated into the situation because uh, the police made these informants say what they wanted to say. I think the informants were coerced. So, you know, I, mean, that, I definitely feel betrayed. But, like I said, there's nothing I can do about it. You know, the only thing it is that I work too hard for my name, and I'm not about to let nobody drag my name in the mud saying I told on somebody when I know I did. And you know, it's like other than other than that, you know, everything else, I work hard every day, six days a week. I get back, you know, to where I need to be, doing things I want to do. I'm not, a, I'm not a quitter. You know what I mean? I'm a trendsetter. I'm not about to sit back and, and wait on nobody to do nothing for me. So, I mean, I'm a little bitter, but that's just motivation. So now you're working a nine to five. How is that going for you? It's not bad. It's my first time having a job at my age. It's crazy because, you know, I, I've always felt like I could have a job. And, you know, it's nine to five, you know, you get your paycheck. But like I said, I play professional basketball where these checks don't even compare to nothing right. that, I'm, that I'm getting. What I make in a year, I used to make that in a month, a half a month. So it's different. But uh, I'm satisfied. I'm, I'm, I, I'm, 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 I can't. You know, the fact that I got a decent paying job, I can say I'm content so far, but you know, if I can do better, I, I will. If I can find a better job, I will, but right now I'm, I'm pretty much content, you know, with, with where I'm at working. And my job is something that I don't mind doing because I use my hands and, you know, my height comes comes into play and, you know, me being, being, uh, being strong enough to do the job comes into play. So, I'm content. I don't have a problem with my job. So, what's next 
for Art Long. Well, what's next for me is to take uh, another step up the ladder. And however that's going to be, I'm just going to take it one day at a time. You know, uh, today is my granddaughter's birthday. She turns two. Um, I haven't seen her yet. I haven't met her in person. But, you know, my, my next step is, you know, to get up and find my kids, you know, and just continue to raise my kids and be, be our own, be the man. Like, you know, help my nieces and nephews. I just had a nephew get a full scholarship to Wagner College. So I'm gonna be there to support him, you know. That's what I'm. That's what I'm here for, just to still help the youth, you know, help them to stay away from the situations that I was in, so they won't have to worry about the things that I worry about today. Okay. When it comes to the magazines, I only do the toxin They do it way different, always thinking out the box Malik, right, ten woman stars that we got Yeah, we heading to the top for that number one spot We gon' show you how we rock, NYC to the rock Black old urban mag, other mags watch for flop Other mags follow suit, over here we do our own thing Buzzing on the web, in the stands, we got our own way Website rocking, yeah, we got them viewers up Exclusive interviews with the stars, ain't nothing new to us Paparazzi pick with the models and the rappers Mad, click 